I spoke with Carol Bartz, who is the CEO of Yahoo, and they are very, very interested in coming to Western New York and placing a major data center that will serve the whole Northeast. Why are they interested in Western New York? Well, we have three advantages. First, we have a well-educated labor force. That's what you need for these highly advanced and technical types of centers. Second, we have good, cheap, clean power that comes from the Niagara Frontier and NYPA, the New York Power Authority. And third, and this is an interesting one, they want a place that's cold or cool. Um, because these data centers uh, create a lot of heat, the cooler the temperature outside, the better for locating them. And so they're not going to Florida or Texas or staying in California. The, uh, the cool, beautiful temperatures we have here in Western New York is a major asset in terms of attracting this kind of center. They are looking for places that have to be, that get, that get the power. That's within 30 miles of NYPA. Um, places they're looking at are in Orleans, Genesee, and Niagara counties. And I do want to say one other thing. I want to just give a few shout outs and credits. Uh, first, New York Power Authority. As you know, I had Congressman Higgins, we've had some beefs with them in not stepping up to the plate quickly when new jobs might locate in western New York. The New Yorker Power Authority has done a very good job here. Uh, CEO Bartz herself told me that they have been fully cooperative in trying to locate the data center here. And the governor's office had promised to straighten out the New York Power Authority after the steel company didn't come to our region, and it looks like that's happening. And second, I want to give a shout out to Assemblywoman Del Monte. Francine Del Monte has done a very, very good job at working uh, the state, the power authority, and others to try and make this happen. I, ho I had hoped that she might be able to join us here today. She couldn't make it, uh, but she deserves a lot of credit as well. Ready for your questions? No, your county sites either going to be Niagara, Genesee, or Orleans. Uh, it's going to. Those are the three they're looking at. Yes. Are there okay. any specific locations on that site? That uh, you're looking at? There are specific locations, but I'd rather not get into them. Um, a couple of places have been mentioned already. Uh, obviously, one other criteria they need, it's less essential than the top three, would be having an active IDA, uh, which the counties have. How many jobs are we looking at with this? And also, okay, in terms of a brain drain, I mean, we lose a lot of our graduates here. Given that this is commencement day, would these be jobs for graduates like yes. at UB? This would be jobs for graduates. Uh, um, let me say this. The number of jobs is 50 to 100 permanent jobs, hundreds of construction jobs. But the benefit goes beyond the jobs itself. When a company like Yahoo locates in western New York, it's a beacon to other high-tech, high, good-paying job companies to come to Western New York. And given that this is going to be their data center for the entire Northeast, uh, it's going to set out a strong signal that Western New York is a great place for the most advanced, profitable companies like Yahoo to do business. How much does it help that Geico make, went through this exercise? Well, Geico? In my, I, I've been working with um, Yahoo for a long time. As you know, I tried to get Google to do the same thing here, mm -hmm. and this was several years ago, and we didn't get the cooperation we needed from the Power Authority. And so I've been working with Yahoo for a long time, and one of my major pitches was that Geico located here, and they needed high pay, you know, they needed uh, well educated <coughs> labor force. And, you know, this is our future. Our future here in Western New York, we have very good schools, both K through 12 and a higher education, public and private. And the fact that we have a well-educated labor force and uh, we have a lot of advantages like that should be helpful in selling us things. If a company like Yahoo comes here, it's going to make lots of other companies, high-tech companies with good paying jobs, take notice. It's been uh, reported and rumored that Yahoo's had some financial problems lately, that they might not be around in the next few years. But did they oh, give you any think. sort of assurances? Well, that like they're... most companies, they're having financial problems, but Yahoo's going to be around for a long time.
Any idea when they're going to make a decision? Uh, I think they're going to make the decision relatively soon. They're getting down to the final line. Are they uh, focusing on Western New York? Western New yes. York, or are they still looking now, at Now, they're still looking at other places, not just Western New York, but Western New York is at the very top of their list right now. Now, the Port Power Authority has uh, uh, Senator Mazier, just a couple of weeks ago, was complaining that there was a steel plant that was possibly right. going to... That's just what I was talking about. And, I mean, they're not coming. Um, right. The Power Authority in the past has not sort of uh, jumped to attention when something like this happens. Uh, but on this one, they've been very, very good. I think they've learned their lessons from the past both with the steel plant and with uh, Google a few years ago. Uh, do you have, Gary, I, I know there's no such thing no, as There's guarantees no guarantees here. This is not, let me reiterate, this is not a done deal, but it's looking very, very good. And uh, when I spoke to the CEO, uh, I said, can I let people know that we're getting close? And she said, absolutely. What, and I know that uh, you already touched on it, but what commitment from my uh, are you getting at this point? So okay, NIPA, look, we're going to need a commitment of a good number of uh, kilowatt hours of electricity. Yahoo particularly wants clean electricity. That's just part of their credo and way of thinking. And so far, uh, the discussions with NIPA have been very, very good and very, very positive. That's not just what NIPA is saying, it's what Yahoo is saying as well. It seems as though with the steel plant, they got to the 11th hour. They thought everything was fine, and then all of a sudden, from and I'm just going off of memory, they were hoping for twice the amount of uh, kilowatt hours that NYPA eventually said they were willing to no, there, But I cannot tell you the steel plant, none, you know, a lot of people didn't know about till it was too late, and that's why we want to make sure that we're on top of this uh, early. And right now, in terms of the kilowatt hours that are needed, and what NIPA is offering, they're right in the same ballpark. Which is how much? Uh, I don't think I should get into those details, but it's a significant amount of power. I talked to a site selector and I said, why were they focusing on West New York versus other parts of the state? And one thing he mentioned was the cost per square foot, uh, development costs, no was question. about 20% cheaper in the Buffalo area. Than That's one of the reasons GEICO came here. The cost of office space here and the cost of developing buildings and office space is lower than in most parts of the country. Particularly when you add that to our well-educated labor force, it's a real selling point. Yeah, is this how you're going to sell? Is this, I mean, in the future, how you're going to sell businesses to come here is based on that issue, that well, energy issue? No, well, that's one of the issues. We have a lot of strengths in Western New York. I'd say the well-educated, hard-working labor force is number one. Lower costs for a lot of things is number two, uh, and then we have power, water, uh, things like that that are very advantageous as well. Uh, the one caveat, government's got to keep taxes down and got to be pro, have a, have a business friendly uh, regulatory climate.